In a historic move, the House of Representatives just voted to legalize marijuana. So let's get right into the weeds. What's in this joint resolution that just got puff puff passed? Don't worry, that's the last of the puns. The main point of the MORE Act or the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act of 2020 is exactly what you thought it was when you clicked on this video. It legalizes the entire marijuana industry from farm to baggie. That's right, it might soon become even easier for Americans to stay in their homes. Now, Based on the fact that I just said this act legalizes weed, you probably think that's what it does. But there is a huge asterisk about the size of several midwestern states attached to that statement. You see, back in 1970, the Controlled Substance Act made marijuana illegal federally. Yes, Uncle Sam is the only uncle out there who's against the wacky tobacco. Now, this act has never been reversed. So, if weed is illegal from sea to shining sea, then why is it currently legal in some states? Well, simple, the federal government just slowly backed away from the issue and decided not to enforce on the book laws. If they wanted to, the federales could kick down the door of any pot shop anywhere in the country. They just don't. Now, this law would change the federal law so that marijuana would no longer be treated as an illegal substance and instead regulated just like alcohol. States could continue to ban or regulate marijuana just like states can currently ban or regulate alcohol. So, okay, what actually changes with legalization then? Well, a lot less than you would think. States can already decide whether to legalize marijuana within their borders, but this would essentially be the federal government saying, hey guys, remember how we said we're not going to enforce federal marijuana laws? Well, now no backsies. If we do this legally, we can't anymore. Now only state governments can restrict marijuana use and production. Progress? Now, just to beat a dead horse to the point where I'm kicking a glue bottle, the MORE Act wouldn't legalize marijuana nationwide. It would still be up to states to decide if they want to legalize marijuana within their borders. The biggest things this would change would be on the margins. Pot shops in states where marijuana have been legalized are having trouble getting financing because. Well, banks aren't exactly the biggest fans of lending to brick and mortar stores dedicated to committing federal offenses. I guess we shouldn't open an arson R Us anytime soon. If the Department of Justice were to reverse their prosecution decision and start cracking down, your investment just went up in smoke. Similarly, this would make it so that the federal government can't hold marijuana convictions against people applying for benefits or applying for a change in immigration status. In fact, one of the biggest things this bill does is expunge records for people with prior federal marijuana convictions. There's that word federal again. If your state has laws specifically banning marijuana that you break, you're still on the hook. So what's next? We well, don't need to start brushing up on your state laws quite yet. We just completed the easiest step in the process, getting it past the liberal house. And now we're facing down against Mitch McConnell's Senate and then the president. The push to pass this bill in the Senate is being led by a California senator and definitely not a cop Kamala Harris. She's been a marijuana legalization advocate ever since she left her job prosecuting thousands of people for that crime. Unfortunately, the Republican held Senate doesn't seem exceptionally enthusiastic about states rights on this specific issue. Yeah, guys, let's leave it up to the states unless the federal government wants to sweep in and start regulating. Yay, looming federalism. Now, this position is consistent with Donald Trump who voiced support for letting states decide their own marijuana laws, but has so far rejected full legalization at the federal level, also known as status quo. If you're pro-legalization, the biggest obstacle to this act getting passed in the Senate is just a complete lack of coverage. <coughs> 
This is the first time a body of Congress has passed a bill to legalize marijuana since it was made illegal in the 70s. It's a big deal that just sort of melted into the couch. Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons here for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.